Hey guys, and welcome back to my game development series. And I know it's been over a month since the last time I've posted a video. But that doesn't actually mean that I haven't still been very much hard at work on Crown of the Wizard. Or you can call it Cow if you'd like. Anyways, for the past month I've joined a bunch of other game developers on a journey called the 100 Days of Game Dev over on Twitter where you're supposed to post something meaningful that you've done relating to game dev for the day for a hundred days but you've got some people like me that would merge multiple days and make one post and say hey this is what I've got okay so let's just go over a few things that I've done throughout the month um, so the first thing was was that I created a couple new characters I actually made two girl characters, one of which being the force one, which is the one that's going to, she's going to use her force field powers right here, so you can see that play out. Um, the other girl that I made was the chaos one. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with all of the other characters, but I actually had before a fire wizard, an ice wizard, and it what was originally a chaos wizard was the green one, and it's now the forest wizard which she's wearing gray um, a fire wizard an ice wizard and a chaos wizard so the chaos now represents purple and she's also uh, female and not male um, but what I'm actually showing through right now is where I'm actually creating the powers so each wizard will have a skill they'll have like their main skill that's the special that you can see right now I'm doing the ice I call this one the ice twirl so he actually makes the pillars of ice on the floor you can see that they shatter afterwards but like if an enemy runs up into it they should take some damage from um, the pillars so this is the chaos girl here you can see her so she does have the ability to like leech from off of the enemies and she can also do her second skill which should be the chaos explosion and it actually can work on a group of enemies so if she's surrounded she can just do that and I did work on a few skill icons for all of these skills and each wizard has two skills as I've said and here you can see that I actually added in whenever you get an item that's added to your inventory um, whether it's coins or like mana potion or health potion you'd see a pop up to the side just so you can get a little notification and this is the boss this is what the first boss would look like he's the wolf king <laughs> he doesn't really have a name as yet but I'm just calling him the wolf king because you know it's the crown so you're trying to get the crown um, and he's commanding force he's someone that's protecting the forest and commanding all of the wolves of the forest um, and there are also some drops that he can get from him uh, and I just made an icon for each of those and these items are actually equipable so you can change the look of your character if you like and you can just select those from the menu you can see that the hat has been changed and the robe has also been changed and these are all of the wizards how they look now and these are when they've equipped full wolf boss gears so I'm just testing through opening chests um, for the final version of the game I'm not planning for these gears to be found in chests um, I'm planning to make them be just droppable from the boss rather than um, so it would be like a farming event so you can farm from the boss the individual gears but I am planning to actually implement a crafting system as well so you can gain that okay so for this section is where I actually started adding in the audio so I did make this soundtrack so you can listen to it and I started putting together the storyline as well so that you can just have a feel for the game it's more feeling like an adventure and of course there is battle music separate and apart from the main music
and at this point of my journey I was actually thinking about how I would sequence the battle for against the wolf boss as you can see he's doing like a flip there um, and he's like <laughs> doing some very hard hits that staggers the player so once you're staggered you actually can't do anything so he basically paralyzes you for two two seconds so in the second phase i would say once his health is at 50 percent which it doesn't show right now how much health he's at but i am planning to add that in the future he goes into phase two where he starts to do his jump attack and he summons his wolves and you can see he actually does a flip before he does the, I'll call it Earth Shatter for now. And after defeating the boss, it he actually drops the crown. And, and the crown will be a guaranteed drop because you need that to break rocks so you can pass and get to the next level. And at this point I was actually playing around with what could be a lock-on feature. It's still in testing, not entirely finished as yet, but um, it would. the final product would be something like this. As you can see, he's chasing you and there's a, a lock, like a symbol locked onto him. So you can just know that he's the one that you're targeting. And that's also to help with the, whenever you're shooting your powers. So I've noticed before that there was no, um, like a crosshair. So there was no crosshair there to actually guide the player on how to shoot, uh, like if you're trying to snipe the wolf from a far distance. So you just could lock on like that. And in this part now, this is where I had, I was playing around with the cameras and if you were to swap locations, this is when I've just started like fleshing out what the second level would be. The first thing I would want to change is the cameras and you can see where I was also testing with 2D animations and that's a really tough road because I have these pre-rendered images and I still could not line them up in Photoshop it's so hard so props out for all the 2D animators and I've also redesigned the first level I decided to give it like a night theme rather than an evening theme and afterwards after you beat the first level you go you get entrance to you get entrance to the portal that brings you to this town um, and you can see that this character he's supposed to be the tour guide he's I modeled him off of myself and there are a few NC NPCs around the town that you can interact with like the crafter you can use him to craft the gears you don't have to farm the boss if you have a lot of the the material drops and you can have a banker and I'm planning to have spell upgrades in the game like let's say you have a fireball you can upgrade the fireball to like level 2 with the spellcaster there and I also programmed the NPCs in the town that walks around to interact with each other um, so each of them have three different interactions that they can do but um, I might add some more because it does get a bit repetitive sometimes and it does feel like I'm playing the sims at the same time look so every time they get within a certain range of each other they're doing like they're going to interact with each other and these are just the free room NPCs versus the NPCs that just stay around it's like she's the spellcaster is saying like she's crazy she's <laughs> and with that if you're still sticking around I'd just like to thank you for watching the video to its entirety and if you'd like to follow the journey you can just click on the subscribe and if you like the game then you can just click on the like Normally, I would give a testing version to most of my viewers, but I don't normally get much people to test it anyways. Um, normally, I'll just get my friends to test it rather than my viewers. Uh, I was trying to work on putting out a beta, but the crafting wasn't together as yet, nor was the banker to store all of the stuff, nor the st skill upgrades. And I just didn't want to put out a completely unfinished, even though it would be just like a demo version, I just wouldn't want to put out a version where you just can't do anything really. So that I'll probably save that for the next video. So with that, I'd just like to thank you again and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.